In the introduction to this lesson, we will find products using algebra tiles. Algebra tiles are used to visually solve products and factors. Before being able to use them, you need to memorize the rules. There are six unique algebra tiles. The first tile is a large yellow square that represents positive x squared. The next tile is a yellow rectangle representing positive x. This tile is a small yellow square that represents positive 1. The large red square represents negative x squared. The red rectangle represents negative x. The last tile is a small red square representing minus 1. Now we'll go over the rules for multiplying positive yellow tiles. A small yellow square times another small yellow square is a small yellow square. This is the same as 1 times 1 equals 1. A yellow rectangle times a small yellow square is a yellow rectangle. Think of x times 1 equals x. A large yellow square times a small yellow square is a large yellow square. This represents x squared times 1 equals x squared. Two yellow rectangles multiplied together make a large yellow square. Think of x times x equals x squared. Now we'll look at the rules for tiles with different colors. A small yellow square times a small red square is a small red square. Think of 1 times minus 1 equals minus 1. A yellow rectangle times a small red square is a red rectangle. This represents x times minus 1 equals minus x. A large yellow square times a small red square is a large red square. Think of x squared times minus 1 equals minus x squared. A yellow rectangle times a red rectangle is a large red square. This is the same as x times minus x equals minus x squared. Now we'll go over the rules for multiplying negative red tiles. A small red square times another small red square is a small yellow square. This represents minus 1 times minus 1 equals 1. A red rectangle times a small red square is a yellow rectangle. This represents minus x times minus 1 equals x. A large red square times a small red square is a large yellow square. Think of minus x squared times minus 1 equals x squared. Two red rectangles multiplied together give a large yellow square. This is the same as minus x times minus x equals x squared. Now that we've learned the rules of algebra tiles, we'll use them to find the product of 3 times 4x squared. From our virtual algebra tile kit, we'll make a source pile of large yellow squares. We also need a source pile of yellow rectangles. And we'll also be using small yellow squares. Now we'll draw some lines to help us position the algebra tiles.
we represent 3 by putting 3 small yellow squares in the left column. We represent 4x squared by putting 4 large yellow squares in the top row. Complete the grid by multiplying all of the pieces together as shown in the animation. The inner grid contains 12 large yellow squares. Since each yellow square represents x squared, the answer for our product is 12x squared. In part b, we'll find the product of 2x and x minus 1. Since we are dealing with negative quantities in the product, let's make source piles for the red tiles. We represent 2x with two rectangles in the left column. We represent x minus 1 in the top row with a yellow rectangle and a small red square. Two yellow rectangles multiply together to yield a large yellow square. A yellow rectangle times a small red square is a red rectangle. A yellow rectangle times another yellow rectangle is a large yellow square. A yellow rectangle times a small red square is a red rectangle. The inner grid contains two large yellow squares, so let's write down 2x squared. There are also two red rectangles, so let's write down minus 2x. We have now answered the question. The product is 2x squared minus 2x. In part c, we'll use algebra tiles to find the product of x minus 2 and 3x plus 1. Let's set up our grid to hold the pieces. We represent x minus 2 by putting one yellow rectangle and two small red squares in the left column. We represent 3x plus 1 in the top row with three yellow rectangles and one small yellow square. A yellow rectangle times a yellow rectangle is a large yellow square. A yellow rectangle times a small yellow square is a yellow rectangle. A small red square times a yellow rectangle is a red rectangle. A small red square times a small yellow square is a small red square. A small red square times a yellow rectangle is a red rectangle. A small red square times a small yellow square is a small red square. We have three large yellow squares, so write down 3x squared. We have six red rectangles and one yellow rectangle, so this represents minus 6x plus x. A yellow rectangle and a red rectangle cancel each other out, leaving minus 5x. There are two small red squares, so write down minus 2. We now have our product, 3x squared minus 5x minus 2.